Guys, in this video, I will show you how we can fix uh, Modern Warfare 3 or Warzone Direct X encountered an unrecoverable error. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first solution, what I suggest you to do here, you need to make sure that your operating system and your GPU drivers is fully updated. And to do that, you need to just go to settings, then go to Windows update and check for updates. And if there is an update for you that you need to download and install it, uh, please do so. And after that, you need to go for your GPU drivers. Uh, I'm using GeForce Experience, so there is an app to that, uh, GeForce Experience. But you're using uh, EMD, there, there, I believe there is EMD Radiant to that as well. And then you need to go to drivers, uh, check for updates, and install the latest version of your drivers. And after that, restart your computer. And then you need to look if the problem persists or not. And still, if you have uh, problems, uh, what you need to do here, you need to open a browser. Then you need to just write direct X and probably it will be the first link here by microsoft.com. Uh, download direct X and user runtime from official website. So press on that. Then you need to press download. Then you need to press desktop and install it here and then you need to write visual c plus plus and also it will be the first link uh, latest supported visual c plus uh, plus here and by microsoft and then you need to scroll down and download the uh, version here so if you're using 64-bit version uh, your computer is 64-bit you need to download this and if you're using 32 bits you need to download this and if you don't know what bits uh, is on your computer you just need to go and search and write system information here system information here and uh, here it will be should be your bits you can see here here right and after you download the the programs here it's super easy to install it uh, let me show you as you can see here you should have these two uh, setups so the first one is for direct X and I accept agreement, uh, make sure to toggle this down and install and super similar with uh, an, uh, C++, uh, you just need to, as you can see here, finish, go to the, follow, uh, the thing here and you, if you don't have the visual C++, it will be here installed. And if you have it, you just can press repair and wait for a couple of seconds until it loads up. And after you installed, uh, they will ask you to basically uh, restart your computer to uh, have a change, right? As you can see here, there is restart. And after you do so, another thing that you need to do here is to open up CMD or command prompt as administrator. And then you need to write C uh, S F C slash forward slash scan now press okay and as you can see here it will take a couple of minutes uh, until a scan is complete and after that the first solution uh, ends you just need to restart your computer and then you need to look if the problem persists or not right. And if the problem persists, we can go with another solution. So another one is uh, first, what you need to do here, you need to open up task manager and end uh, some tasks, unnecessary tasks. Uh, if using third party antivirus software, software like Avast, McAfee or others, please uh, close the app. If using uh, uh, basically app with an overlay like Discord, uh, Steam uh, or other, you can uh, close the overlay for for example steam and discord so make sure to or geforce experience please make sure to close uh, the overlay and then close all the apps related to mouse and keyboard like uh, razor cortex uh, game and manager services you can see here there is plenty of apps on my computer that uh, my mouse and key is using so what you need to do here is you need to end them one by one until the, there will be no uh, mouse and key uh, and other apps related to that and don't forget to also close all the anti-cheat 
uh, programs that other games is using. For example, if you're playing Valorant, there is a Vanguard. If you're playing Apex Legends, uh, I believe there is a easy anti-cheat. So close all the uh, uh, anti-cheat programs uh, as well. And after that, after you do so, you just need to go back to uh, your Steam. Then look for Call of Duty or Modern Warfare 3. Go to properties, uh, install files and verify integrity of the game files. And after that, restart your computer and then you need to look if the problem persists or not. So that's pretty much it. And if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.